Hey, what's going on guys? It's GCP here playing some Call of Duty World War II. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Gonna be using this airborne division with the Type 100. Gonna be throwing on that suppressor to keep me off of the radar as best as I can. And being just silent and deadly. But anyways, gonna be talking about something that I read yesterday. Uh, that kind of surprised me. Uh, in, in a little little way. Not, not a whole way. Uh, because I kind of knew that... Well, I kind of knew Sledgehammer wanted to go this direction, but I didn't know what the ultimate decision or who the, who made the ultimate decision for uh, the direction of this franchise to go. And now, just after reading this article, I found out. And by the way, I will link it down below in the description so you guys can check it out and read it for yourselves. Uh, basically, it was Activision's decision to go back to World War II, and it was not Sledgehammer Games. Sledgehammer Games. <laughs> <laughs> Sledgehammer Games wanted to go back to Advanced Warfare 2. They wanted to go back to the futuristic gameplay. You know, the futuristic gameplay that the Call of Duty community is fed up with? Yeah, that one. So, Advanced Warfare 2 was the first pick, and that's what Sledgehammer Games wanted to, wanted to create. And can you guys imagine? Can you guys imagine? Advanced Warfare 2, like, just, just the sound of that just sends chills through my... Through my spine <laughs> and i know there's some people who who really liked advanced warfare and i'm not trying to you know say that you your opinion is wrong because everybody's entitled to their opinion everybody likes different games but i'm talking as far as the community as a whole the community as a whole uh did not like advanced warfare and advanced warfare 2 uh, would have left a sour taste uh even more it would have been an even more can you imagine the Call of Duty community right now, in the state that it's in right now, after Infinite Warfare, they wanted, like their enthusiasm is already low to begin with, they wanted something to redeem Call of Duty. Um, seeing this trend of Black Ops 3, or Advanced Warfare I should say, Black Ops 3, uh, Infinite Warfare, uh, this futuristic trend uh, is something that the community wanted to, wanted to get rid of. They wanted to go back to boots on the ground and, you know, the Activision head, or the CEO, he had an interview, he sat down with Newsweek, and he basically said that initially Sledgehammer Games wanted to go to Advanced Warfare 2, but after their analytics, um, the analytic team for Activision and seeing the trends and what the community wanted, they said, no Sledgehammer Games, you're gonna create World War II, uh, okay? And although they did this for sales and all of that, but they have to keep the community at least somewhat happy, otherwise they will get no sales. So I can't, I can't blame Activision for doing so. But at the same time, you look at what's happened because they made the decision uh, to go with World War II and back to boots on the ground. Now we're hearing that they, they made a lot more than Infinite Warfare. The ratio is two to one in, in terms of sales for Infinite Warfare, or excuse me, for World War II compared to Infinite Warfare. And also initially, the sales for this game, World War II, is higher than Black Ops 3 as well. And I thought Black Ops 3 was a great game, but that's crazy. That tells you a whole lot about the state of the community and how the majority of the community wanted to go back to the traditional boots on the ground call of duty what kind of made this franchise into what it is and uh you know the sales are speaking for themselves that's basically what that means people are buying this game this game is doing very very well in sales um and honestly i personally think it's it's growing on me uh it's it's a really good game i think it does need a few tweaks here and there but overall it's a playable call of duty uh, I think Call of Duty is back after this, I definitely do. And you know, you see a huge population coming back and playing this game. The sales are up. You know, the, it, it's looking good. It's really looking good for Call of Duty's future again by going back in. They might have saved the franchise with this. And I know we keep talking about, oh, Call of Duty is done, Call of Duty is done. But uh, it seems to me that they came back in a way that uh, this this franchise really desperately needed, and World War Two, World War Two, if I can speak right, is a great game. It's fun. Uh, it, it returns back to its roots, and that's what the community wanted. And I'm enjoying it as well. Like I said many times, uh, 
So, I don't know. Like, I I'm enthusiastic. I'm enthusiastic for what this franchise holds with next year Activision uh, allowing Treyarch to take the reins again. Um, and Treyarch games are <laughs> better in my opinion. So, I, I think it looks good, man. I think it looks really, really good. Anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is GCP, and I am signing off. Thank you.